To maximise the performance of your Sentry Industrial Deep Cycle batteries, we highly recommend you perform a routine service and maintenance check. The frequency of the service check will depend on the application, the amount of use and the conditions the batteries are in. For recreational applications, we recommend checking the batteries at least once a month. The maintenance check should include examining the condition of the battery, inspecting and cleaning the battery posts and connections, checking the battery's state of charge, checking the specific gravity readings and the levels of the electrolyte, and periodic equalization charging. When servicing an industrial deep cycle battery, to make it easier, invest in a servicing toolbox containing all the equipment and supplies to safely complete the service and maintenance checks. The servicing toolbox should include personal protection equipment containing safety glasses, chemical proof gloves and coveralls, a voltmeter and hydrometer for state of charge and battery health checks, disposable towels or an anti-static cloth to remove any dirt, grime or acid mix on the battery casing, a terminal cleaner brush to remove any built up corrosion around the battery posts and terminals and some terminal spray to reduce any further corrosion. You'll also need a bottle of distilled water and a funnel to top up the electrolyte levels when low and some tools composing of spanners to tighten up or remove terminals and a screwdriver to assist in removing gang top lids. Now before we start, we need to put in our personal protection equipment, then we can systematically work through the maintenance checklist. Now that I've put on my PPE, I can now begin by inspecting the battery for any signs of wear and tear or physical damage. Stones and debris in the battery tray can lodge under the casing and if the battery is not secure, movement and rubbing against metal components can wear through the battery container, creating a leak. Once I've checked the container, we can now use the disposable towels to remove any light dirt, grime or acid residue from the battery casing. We can now inspect the battery post and terminal connections are secure and free of corrosion. If the terminals are damaged, they'll need to be replaced. For mild corrosion, you can use the terminal cleaner brush to remove any built up corrosion around the battery posts, then apply a thin layer of terminal grease or spray. Any severe corrosion, you can use a combination of baking soda and warm water to help remove and neutralize heavy corrosion. I'm now going to use a voltmeter to check the state of charge of the batteries. You can do this by measuring the stabilized voltage of the battery bank when disconnected from any loads or charging sources. The fully charged voltage of the battery will depend on the voltage of the system, whether it's 12, 24, 36 or 48 volts. If you are unsure, always refer back to the manufacturer's owner's manual. A rule of thumb for a 12 volt battery bank is the fully charged voltage will be around 12.7 volts. For a 24 volt system, the voltage will be double and be 25.4 volts. If the test result shows a low voltage, the battery may be discharged or there may be another issue with the battery. To gather further information, we now need to check the specific gravity readings and the electrolyte levels in the battery. We're now gonna remove the vent plugs. Once the vent plugs are removed, use a hydrometer to measure the specific gravity readings in each individual cell. A fully charged cell will have a specific gravity reading between 1265 and 1280. 
In general, when reading a hydrometer, the green indicates that the cell is charged, the white represents a semi-discharged cell, and the red means it's fully discharged. When all the cells are reading the same specific gravity, whether the result is red, white, or green, this indicates the battery is okay, but may require further charging. When there is a variance from one cell to the rest, further investigation is required, and this is a good indicator that the cell is dead or inactive. It is also good practice to look at the colour of the battery electrolyte. If it is brown, milky white, or you can see chunks of dark material floating in the electrolyte solution, this is a good sign that the battery has an issue and may need to be replaced. I now want to share a few tips on servicing and maintaining your Sentry Industrial Deep Cycle batteries. When the vent plugs are removed and you notice the battery plates are exposed, top up using distilled or demineralized water to prevent contaminants from entering the battery. When topping up, never fill with sulfuric acid as this can accelerate grid corrosion, reducing battery life. Do not overfill the battery when topping up with water as the fluid levels will rise when the battery is fully charged and may overflow. The recommended fill level after charging is approximately 5 mm below the fill well in the cell cover. Never check the hydrometer readings immediately after the battery has been topped up with water as this will give you a diluted false reading. Correct battery charging plays a key role in reaching peak performance and service life out of your Sentry Industrial Deep Cycle batteries. If you find the specific gravity readings are out of balance and cannot reach the specific gravity of 1265 to 1280, an equalization charge may be required. Deep cycle batteries need to be equalized periodically. Equalizing is the extended, low current charge performed after a normal charge cycle. This extra charge helps keep all the cells in balance and actively used batteries should be equalized once per month. Manually timed chargers should have the charge time extended for an additional three hours and automatically controlled chargers should be unplugged and reconnected after completing a charge cycle. For further information on battery care and maintenance, including equalization charging, please refer to the Sentry Batteries website located at www.sentrybatteries.com.au.